Thank you. Oh, see? Messy. Hey guys, so in today's video, I thought I could do something different on my channel because I've never done this, I think. Um, so I was watching the Bogues beauty routine, beauty tips things, and I came across to Yemi Alada's one. And she's one of my favourite African artists for music and stuff. I think she's Nigerian. And I thought I could just recreate her style because it's really different to mine. And it kind of scares me a little bit. So that's what we're doing today. So if you want to see what comes from this, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to move a bit so I can put her video here. I have literally nothing prepared. So I'm just going to follow and get stuff. Beauty secrets. Yemi Alade. Hi guys, my name is Yemi Alade. For today, I want to show She's you. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Go to makeup for like any event, whether it's the stage performance or an appearance somewhere, no matter the weather, the humidity. Moisturizer. My go to. Right, right. Moisturizer. She doesn't use moisturizer. Look at this. Moisturizing my face. You won't believe it. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. So I have two oils. This is the Face Theory Oil Booster Serum. Which is like a facelift look too. I'm just gonna run, run like a facelift. Your eyelids, I do that as well because they deserve the love as well. This is something that is really difficult, like, not difficult, like different for me because I don't normally use oil to moisturize my face like i use oil and then i use a moisturizer but i normally only use oil at night so when it's time to draw them in place it wouldn't be much of a hassle i'm going to use this crayon it's by maybelline i'm a huge fan of this particular product one thing that i would say i'm, I'm really happy and really surprised because i've seen all their blog tutorials and stuff and she uses kind of everything drugstore which is really good i'm just gonna do her brows then I'm gonna draw the outline and then I'm gonna fill it in. I think she only fills them in. Okay, now she's talking about primer. The primer, the higher the chances of having your makeup staying in one place, just as it were in the beginning. I have no idea what primer she's using, but I'm gonna use the High Glass Face Primer from NYX. And she puts a lot, oh, she puts a lot. I feel like my face is really tacky already. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Work this in, but I find that the tips of my fingers do a lot of good for me. I think this is too much primer for me. Oh, like, I don't understand how she can do her eyes, her eyebrows first. I can. Okay, yes, so she is using now a Maybelline foundation. I used to have that one, but I don't anymore because it doesn't work for my skin. So I'm gonna use another Fit Me foundation. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Luminous and Sooth on 110. Four hours, you know how I do. I like to spray, squeeze some of that good, good. See that? That pff, stresses me so much. How can you just pump directly from here to here? Well, I don't know. I guess we're just gonna. I can. Oh, she's not using a brush. Oh, I thought she used the brush. Thank you. Oh, see? Messy. I, d I don't understand. I don't understand how she can do this. Oh, everything is horrible. <sighs> I'm actually so glad she's using a beauty blender. But see, I don't get this. Uh, I don't know how people can do their eyebrows first and then the rest of their face. I don't see it. There is this and there is this. This is by Maybelline and this is by Fenty. I like to use the Maybelline one first. So I'm gonna just take some of this brush. Oh, now she uses a brush. Okay, I'm gonna use the the blonde one. See, I like to use the Maybelline one first. So I'm gonna just take some of this brush. The idea is to get it from my knee. Ah. So after using a so this is gonna be interesting. Have I carved my eyebrows? At some point in my life, nope. She carves them up and down. See, this is what I don't get. Why would you do that? See that? I take the foundation and put it on my brush again, so it's the same color on my skin, and I run it over that, so that you, it doesn't seem like you know 
My eyebrows are separate from my entire body. Okay, so now she takes the foundation and she puts a bit on the brush and she blends this over again. You know, blend them as you do. Right, hers looks way better than mine. Do my eyes look better? Not sure. This is a face definer, highlight, contour and bronzer. So I like to set my, my eyebrow. She sets her eyebrows with highlighter? What does this woman? Okay, so she has a palette that I believe is like highlighter, blush, and bronzer. So I'm taking my sleek face form palette. Now, setting it is just like, you know, imagine you're building a house. All the things you need to build a house, you need to make sure that everything is firm and right. So the powder just helps. Eyebrows and eyelids. I do the same thing. With the highlighter a little more concealer on my eyes right so i don't get this so she puts concealer on her eyelids okay first thing done cool fine and now she puts concealer over the top <laughs> i don't get it woman what are you doing but i mean if she does it we'll do it i love her and she looks beautiful so hopefully by the end of the video i can look like her by the way, if you don't know who Jemmy Allard is, first, what are you doing with your life? Second, go and watch her because she is such a gorgeous woman and such a gorgeous and very cool artist. The main thing that the thing is, I think she's using a powder, so I'm just gonna use that one. Help! I need somebody's help. <laughs> and we haven't even got into eyeliner or lashes yet. Yep, that's happening. Am I good for that? Nope. So with this brush, I'm going to go into my crease. So blending has a very light touch to it. That's the... Yeah, with this, you put it in the crease. You just lightly go over the same spot over and over and over again until you get like a smooth feel to it. Oh, she puts a lot. I think like mine is not looking exactly like hers. Mine's almost like a bit mm, orangey. Ah, now she does concealer. What? I don't understand. Any makeup artist making me a biorestyle done. Please don't forget though, I don't like too much makeup. Oh, I don't like too much makeup. Please, I ring it like a broken record. I make sure that they hear my song. And that is the I don't like too much makeup. Oh, please. Oh. Well, um. She has a very weird order to do her makeup. I would never do my concealer after my eyes. But that's the point of the video, isn't it? Um, I think I'm going to use that brush again. The thing with brushes is that when you already apply the makeup, it's good to dab, 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 swipe. Because when you swipe, you're moving the primer that you, you've applied, you're moving the foundation you've applied, you're moving every product you've applied initially. Dab, 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 dab. She says she does. And then she says something about sweet. Me with my eyes, my eyelids. But before I draw my eyeliner with this, I would like to apply some glue on this while it gets dry a bit. Eyeliner, bandage the room. If it wasn't already horrible as it is, because I'm doing a terrible job, now I need to do eyelashes. Um, I'm using ones that I bought in Berlin. She puts glue on her lashes. Oh boy, oh boy. Right, I think these lashes are too thick for me. No, I think they're actually all right. So I'm gonna put glue on this and I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna do my eyeliner. This is gonna be a disaster, whole disaster. I'm gonna just go. Just have to hold up this tip. <laughs> I do have an eyelash on. I'm gonna try and keep going. Oh, oh, my eyes stink. Can you check the other lash? I'm praying for this to work. Now, I'm actually surprised because eyeliner is looking better than others, the other eyeliners I've ever done. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the best, it's not the worst. I can live with that. Right, so now we're gonna use mascara. 
Um, hopefully this doesn't undo everything I've done. Well, I use my powder to set my concealer and stuff. So now I'm going to blend that in and wash up. There's one trick that I find very handy and I'll never stop doing, and that is the application of some brown powder underneath the eyelid. I use a nice brush with a nice tip there so it gets into the corners that I want it to. So I'm just going to apply it like, I, like I'm applying a bottom eyeliner. And to be sincere, if you look at your skin without any makeup, you find that right there underneath the eyelid itself, it's a bit brown, like it's a bit darker than the actual eye patch here. Wait, you're doing bronzer now. Um, Thank fuck. Nicely rounded, broad forehead. And because I don't want the camera hitting it and making it look like it's a plateau, I would normally put some brown contour around those areas so I do the work of the camera for the camera okay so I'm going to just line my inner eye just a bit because I want it to pop very good thank you very much honey. you see that space in between the bottom line what? and the top line I'm gonna fill that up okay I'm just gonna put black all over our eyes so my friend told me one time that when I'm applying my lipstick it's always good to go with the X marks the spot you know technique so here it goes X okay that's not red but that is like Pardon me. So I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Shame Tab. Let's go with an X. See? Same color. X. Oh my god. That is crazy. Do I look like her already? Now, the finishing touch. The one thing I always cannot wait for when I'm getting made up or when I'm making myself up is this bad boy. Wear boosting setting spray. And it looks. Okay. So I don't think we're gonna say this because this. <laughs> I'm actually not really mad. Um, I hate the lashes and the lipstick is not the best of lights. <laughs> but this is the final look. Okay, guys. <laughs> this was everything for today's video. I didn't think it was gonna be this difficult. Um, I didn't remember like there was lashes and eyeliner and all that stuff. Oh my god. Let's put me in the center. I just made a mess. This woman has a really weird sense or like order on doing her makeup. But overall, I don't think it looks that bad. I think I haven't done eyeliner or eyelashes like just once in my life. So I don't think it looks that bad. But I know it looks bad. I, I'm not your usual beauty guru. I'm not even a beauty guru. I'm just trying to learn how to do makeup here. Well... <laughs> This was everything for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of videos because I want to do like Kim and Kylie and maybe Doja. But yeah, so let me know in the comments what do you think. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry for all the mess. Um, if you did, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.